An evening stroll. Looking for a snack to swallow whole. Never mind the taste. Satiety is the goal. Not enough, not enough. The beast growls for more. Anything is game for a true omnivore. Ladies and gents, boys and girls, dugs and diggers, today we're going to take a look at a Puke at the, at a, whatever, Puke Puke. It's a 5th gen staple, made its debut in World, uh, which was the game just before this one. So, without further ado, let's talk about how a tier 2 monster just so happened to find its way in tier 3. Um, okay, so let's talk about it off the rip. Puke Puke is a monster that's, uh, it's a bird weapon, if I'm not mistaken, and its main thing is poison. It will poison you, it'll poison... Even multiple different ways. It'll do it with a globs of poison. It'll do it with poisonous gases. It'll spray this poisonous gas. It's a very interesting monster. It has a lot of interesting ways to actually drop the poison off on you. Granted, um, to be very, very fair, this isn't a very, like, difficult monster to fight. Like, I'm... <laughs> the... <laughs> There's not a whole lot to say. There really isn't a whole lot to say when it comes to Puke Puke. Like, I consider and tell you guys that, hey, Puke Puke uh, has to do this kind of thing, needs to do that kind of thing or whatever. But realistically, you don't need to know any of these things at all. Because, I mean, it's very straightforward. It's an incredibly straightforward fight. Uh, don't get hit with the poison. Hit him when he doesn't actually do the poison stuff. But let's still talk about, like, his intricate things. The, the attacks that he does have that you should be noted for. Uh, because they did buff him. That's something to actually really look out for. He was given a buff. He does have a roar now. He never had a roar before. So that's one plus on the buff. Uh, the poison that he actually can expel from his tail, the gas fuel, is a little different than what it, what used to be before. And um, he can do it like almost akin to, uh, if you guys remember Camellios in any regard, where he'll just set up and like shoot out a huge stream of poison gas. Kind of like that, but not as proficient as Camilos, because Camilos will be coming to this game later, and he will completely outclass this monster, but for the time being, this is going to be our primarily, for the most part, poison monster, if you're not also looking at Raytheon things. But uh, all that aside, let's actually look at a couple of the poisonous, poisonous things that it actually has. He does have a poison spit that um, he can enable even further with, uh, what does he eat? He eats... Oh my gosh, I forget exactly what he, I think, was it fish? I Someone told me because I haven't seen him do it, but he will eat something. It's, it used to be seeds. I'm not sure if it's still seeds. Someone please correct me in the comment section. But he'll eat a particular thing. I think it might be mushrooms in this game. Uh, and then when he is like that, that's his quote-unquote charge-up state, if you will, where he'll actually be a lot more proficient with actually shooting the poisonous blobs and things at you. And it can be kind of hairy. So if you ever see him eating... Try your best to make sure he doesn't complete that eating process because you don't want to deal with the madness. Speaking of madness, however, he does have a particular new fondness for his tail, tail, his tongue attacks. So whenever he actually gets really enraged, he will unleash a barrage of tail. A, tail. a monster would usually use their tail, but Puke Puke, Puke would, in this case, use its tongue. Uh, if you guys remember fighting Volvodon, how Volvodon can kind of sit down and throw his tongue, at, tongue out at you, Puke Puke can do the same thing. But um, he does it in, I think, about three different ways. So he'll, he'll put both of his hands on the ground and shoot his tongue out. This goes really far. He has a means to actually throw himself up and, like, run at you, like, run on his hind legs, and then a lash out with his tongue as well. He'll lash out with his tongue naturally. He's just really, when he gets mad, he really likes to throw that tongue out. On top of actually throwing down the poison balls that he'll actually shoot in a fan pattern, uh, akin to, like, Raytheon, who will shoot the fireballs out in the fan pattern as well, among a few other monsters who do the exact same thing. But nevertheless, they did, again, like, they did buff him. They actually gave him a couple of new attacks. They fixed a lot of his data. Uh, he's a bit more relentless when he is enraged, to the point where you really have to check yourself, because it will hit you with the combo stuff. Uh, also, if ever you see um, his tail swell up, uh, that's when he's going to proceed to drop off the poison 
from the tail of the gas, if you will. Uh, he'll do this in like a, 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 a sweeping spray. That's the word I was thinking, like a, a circle. My brain said circle. My mouth said sweeping spray. So be cautious of that. The best way to actually avoid getting hit with that particular uh, means of attack is to stay closer to his body. Uh, stay, you want to stay like right on the inside of him as well because if you give him any real space, that's when he'll actually try to hit you with the jump back poison slap. Uh, come in closer with some poison balls, use his tongue to like really, he wants to create space and then force you to like try to get in close and as you try to get in close, he wants to capitalize on you making that mistake of trying to get in close by using his long range attacks and his uh, his closing, his gap closing attacks as well. So they definitely got my man to fight a lot better in this game. But uh, realistically, that's all Puke Puke really is. Uh, he definitely did get buffed, but he's still just a Puke Puke. Okay, so off the rip, the Puke Puke armor doesn't tell you everything you need to know. Like, well, it does rather tell you everything you need to know off the rip. You look at it, it's a special armor boost, constitution, spare shot, and poison attack. It literally is just gunner gear and that's something you'll start seeing from here to the rest of the game you'll see certain monster sets that are explicitly geared towards one to two different weapon types this will be explicitly some charge blade armor or explicitly some bow gun armor or explicitly like some switch x armor and so on um i don't know how i feel about it but it allows everyone to kind of have their thing but it makes it to where certain monster sets are completely unviable for other weapon types in its entirety. But nevertheless, here we go. Special ammo boost. Increase the power of the bowgun, special ammo, and dragon piercer. So for those who have bowguns, wi um, wyvern heart, and wyvern snipe, and the dragon piercer, that's that's what it's talking about. Increases the power of that those things by 10%, and the big one gives it 20%. I mean, yeah, better than nothing. Constitution, what we know about, it reduces the fixed stamina depletion by 20%, of course. Spare shot is exactly what it sounds like, but in this particular case, it activates 3% of the time, so you have a 3% chance of, like, not using a shot. Well, not consuming a shot, so to speak. So, like, you'll shoot a crag, or is it still called crags you'll shoot a sticky i think it's called stickies and then like oh snap it didn't actually use up my sticky so you know that kind of thing and then poison attack of course because his puke puke gives a, a quick little buff to the poison attack that you can actually do and the build up and so on and so forth gives you a flat rate to two and a poison build up of 10 percent so that way the monster's resistance to the poison um can get depleted a little bit quicker or can get reconstituted a little quicker but, um, yeah, so it's weapons, it's weapons, uh, we won't take a look at them because as I speak currently, I am, I'm actually done with the game. <laughs> I went ahead to do this, uh, to beat the game. I beat the game, guys. I'm sorry. I beat the game. Um, through the hub. I'm sorry. Anyway, uh, I'll talk about that later in, like, a later video. But his weapons, they give about 100 to 110 attack on about 20 or so poison. From what I'm understanding, it's poison weapons are the weapons that give you a large amount of poison, whereas the sharpness and the attack will wane close to the end game stuff. But if you want a lot of poison early on, it'd be really good. For example, it's hammer gives 40 poison. Now I know that's like, well, Dak, duh, it's a slow hitting weapon, but it's still something to note that a lot of his weapons still give a pretty solid amount of poison. Uh, I think the Lance gets 25, so it's, uh, it's pretty solid. Uh, I would rock some poison weapons if you haven't picked up already from the Raytheon or something like that. But if you want a, in my opinion, a more solid poison weapon, you may, or one more rounded weapon, you may want to stick with Raytheon instead. Okay, let's wrap it up. So Puke Puke, if you want to do the real damage to him, you have to hit him, believe it or not, in the tongue. I know it's kind of, kind of weird, but whenever you see his tongue, like, out, smack the tongue. I mean, you'll probably clash, clash, you'll probably trade, but it does the most amount of damage. Granted, I mean, you can still hit it in the head. And do a great amount of damage as well. It doesn't really, it's not like that huge. Well, it's kind of big, it's like a 10%. Ne never mind. Hit him in the head, hit him in the tongue. These are the two weakest spots for him. Um, bring thunder, bring thunder when you do it. Remember to watch out for like all the poison stuff that he has. He has quite a bit of things, but to completely negate all that, want to stay close, stay as close to him as, as you possibly can because he can't really hurt you close because all his poison attacks are mid to long range attacks the best you can really do is try to run away from you and fly backwards and do the jump back poison spit um and that'll create some distance but you want to close that gap but be careful how you do it because he will try to close it himself with that being said everyone it's the end of the video but i want to mention that i have a discord server as always if you want to join the discord server you totally can we have a relative i'm going to say a relative decent group of people in there 
I'm trying my best to police it so that way it's actually more enjoyable for everyone else. But if you'd like to come through, get some hunting and so on and so forth, you can do that. Link will be in the description. Of course, my Twitter is always available to you if you actually want to connect with me on Twitter because that's it where I usually drop the information as to when I'm dropping videos, what videos I'm dropping, when I'm streaming, and so on. But with that being said, everyone, it's been your boy, Dak908, a.k.a. The Dig Dug himself. I will see you all next time. The next video will be a Patreon, vi patr a patron video where we make charm and decoration discussions and stuff. So if you want to join the Patreon, do that. I won't have a link because I never have a link. Um, just ask about the Patreon. I'll give it to you. Admit the desire since they're forever. Be in your favor.